and there's been a lot of reaction from the community about the detention at the checkpoint. Channel 5 Stephen Saravia has more. Stephen. DACA recipients are reaching out to Lupe, a com community union. They receive questions on social media and calls placed to their office. They are sharing advice about how to handle similar incidents. If somebody is detained, it's really important that you know that you have the right to remain silent. If they ask you questions about your family um, and trying to intimidate you to tell, tell them information about your, your family members, you can just not respond to those questions. Um, also, you should not sign anything without talking to uh, an immigration lawyer first. Those detained were eventually released. Some believe it was part of Border Patrol's daily operations. In the end, it's a non-story. Um, this would be a story had they been taken into custody and deported from the country, but that didn't happen. They were processed accordingly, like folks in the government said, and, and they were uh, allowed to, to move on, move, go on their way. Meanwhile, some feel these situations are a result of decisions made in Washington by former President Obama five years ago. Unfortunately, this is a kind of situation that you get when you have a president who does something that's not legal, that's outside of his authority. And because it was a temporary thing, because it was arbitrary, and because he did it without real legislative approval, you end up with people falling into the cracks like this. Trump rescinded the program a little more than a week ago. Congress was given six months to come up with a solution to the DACA dilemma. Live in the Channel 5 News studio, Stephen Sarabia, Channel 5 News at 10.